Hello, welcome to PLS 2L02Pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about multiple else ifs. So, in the previous tutorial, we learned uh, the if condition with else if clause. Okay, so we went something like that. If condition one, if that is true, then statement one and two would be executed. If condition one is not false, then else if clause would be executed, and condition given in the else if clause would be evaluated. So if condition 2 is true then statement 3 and 4 would be executed otherwise if else clause exists that would be executed all the statements within the else clause and finally the end if would add. So now what I'm going to tell you is uh, you can put multiple else if clauses in the if statement. Okay. See in this example we have two else if clauses so logic would be pretty simple if condition 1 is true then statement 1 and true would be executed otherwise condition 2 would be evaluated if that is true then 3 and 4 would be executed otherwise condition 3 would be evaluated okay if condition 2 is true then oracle will never execute the second else if clause this is important to know okay uh, as soon as any of the first any of the condition uh, results in true the whole if uh, statement ends Okay, and none of the remaining else if clause is executed. In terms of the flowchart, uh, it's going to be like that. If stars, if the condition, the first condition given in if is true, then all the statements uh, in that first clause would be executed. Otherwise, second condition would be evaluated. Okay, and these statements would be executed if the second condition is true. If th that is false, then the third condition would be evaluated. Okay, and everything, if everything fails then else clause would be executed uh, regardless if else clause exists otherwise and uh, if statement would end okay so now let's go to our oracle screen and what i'm going to do is write a simple program we're going to carry on with the same example that we did in the last lecture so i'm going to declare a variable v score of number type and I'm going to initialize that variable in the first line with the bind variable so Oracle will get an input from the user and it, that input that user enters would be placed in this vscore variable before the program is handed over to Oracle for execution okay so it's a bind variable uh, it's going to be substituted before the program even compiles uh, Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to check if the score is less than, let's say this time we're going to change uh, the scoring, okay? So it's less than 30, then dbms output put line, oh, get me, put line failed. Now I'm going to copy paste. Else, if okay, so if score is less than 30, then this will be executed. We're going to see failed. Otherwise, we're going to see if it's less than 50, then we're going to say just passed. Need to improve a lot. Okay. Otherwise, if it's not less than 50 we're gonna say passed okay so simple program with one else if okay so let me run this program oracle is gonna get asked for the input so let's say I scored 45 submit okay there's a problem on line 11 so that's the problem with the bind variables because I get the compilation error after Oracle asked me for the input. Was Oracle asked me for the input, whatever I entered was substituted here, and then I entered like 45, right? So 45 was substituted here, and then the whole program was handed over to the Oracle for execution. If there is any syntax errors, that would be presented to me after I enter all the bind variable values. So that's a problem with bind variables so line 11 I forgot the semicolon so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 all right 
I don't understand. Oh, see the problem is I forgot to do the end if. So if starts here and if has to end by end if. This end is for the end of the program and this end if is for the end of the if statement. So let's try again. 45 is fine. Just pass need to improve a lot. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two more. I can add as many uh, uh, else if as I like. So let's add one more. Let's run the program. So if it's less than 30, then I failed. If it's less than 50, then I just passed. Need to improve a lot. If it's less than 60, then just pass. Try to improve. Not just passed. Passed. Try to improve. Okay. So let me run. So let's say 55 passed. Try to improve. Okay, so this one was executed. This failed, this failed, this uh, result in true, and this statement was printed on the screen. So I can like put as many else if as I like. Okay, so now I can say passed, and if it's greater than 70, I'm gonna also give a remark of excellent let me run so let's say 65 passed one more time and I'm gonna say 88 excellent okay so you learn the use of L multiple L safes in, in the if statement okay so uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial I'll see you in the next tutorial